get dollar. Hahaha. <laughs> John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. Point question mark exclamation point question mark exclamation point question mark. Ayo. 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 I'm laughing for real right now. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. Football. John Mark. 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 Snake. 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 Nine seven two nine eight five big American TPS hundred and thirty five You tell me how you even begin to explain the mandatory RAM expansion pack from DK64 paradigm to an angry drunk who already probably punched you once. Also, his laptop is password protected, so I don't even know how I would upload the video review anyway. Luckily, Winebox has no password protection. I can have as much as I want and then magically replace it, and he never mentions anything. Now I can review Donkey Kong 64 by my memories, and who cares if anyone sees it. With Winebox, a small area of purple liquid can be your audience. Why the fuck not? I mean, what makes people a better audience than wine molecules? Oh god, I understand the wine pain now. 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 I understand that going to find another digital banana is this tedious? Just imagine how it must hurt to go find paychecks. You know, if you find a creature in a cage, say to it, you, sir, are the lucky one. You have the freedom from bananas. Out here, we have no such freedom. Daddy's bookmarking web pages about middle-aged men committing suicide, so I am going to jam your locks with coconuts so not even keys will work for you anymore. Well, good afternoon to you, chat. Hopefully you've had a, a wonderful day. I've had one that's been filled with Sudafed uh, laced dreaming because that's always the way to go about it. We've got a Nintendo Direct coming up, a Bing Bing Wahooey celebration, where Nintendo is going to once again probably disappoint their fans. More than likely, they're just going to, I don't know, cancel every game they have, really follow it up in a solid way. You know, that Prime 4 cancellation, I don't think it shattered their hearts enough. So I think Nintendo's going to go out and uh, just really give it their all. Hey, uh, we decided to cancel Fire Emblem. And, uh, you know, every other game. Every other game's been canceled. But we've got FIFA 2020. Are you ready for 45 minutes of FIFA 2020? Exclusive to the, to the Switch? Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited for it. How are, how are we doing? I decided to start early. I figured, fuck it. Nintendo Direct starts in... I don't even know what it is. 45, 50 minutes? Figured we could just shoot the shit, relax a little bit, speculate about the uh, the brilliant video games we're all going to be witnessing on the Bing Bing Woohoo console. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't hold uh, your fingers crossed. I wouldn't get too excited. It's a Nintendo Direct, and it's a late one. Usually they're hitting them out in January. Don't know what's going on. It's middle of February. Heartbreak City, right around the corner, day before Valentine's Day. Let's see what they uh, what they come swinging with. Now I could tell, I could tell from the adult chat that uh, is going by right now, all these big boy, big boy sentences and statements that uh, quite a few Switch owners in the audience. <laughs> I hope you're all, you know, bundled up inside your cardboard boxes. You've got your Labo kit sitting out next to you. You, you know, are you all ready? Are you all ready for what's coming up? Are you excited for it? I think we're all excited for it. Mm, shoot the, shoot the shit. Pass the time talking about video game related things. Let me, let me find, <laughs> let me find this story. I'll, I'll, we'll read a little bit about gaming news. Oh, 
Oh, gaming news. What's in gaming news today? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I, I think I have the perfect story to start with. I just pull up an article that really... I'll go to the wrap. I've never even heard of that before, so... Put this picture up on screen. There we go. That's our boy. Take a look at him. He doesn't take shit from people. That's big boy Bobby Kotick. It's not somebody to fuck with. I heard he was whistling as he walked into work recently. The Guitar Hero guitar strapped over his fucking shoulder. And the look of death in his eyes. Just ready to ready to start cutting some fat off the company's tit. Just ready to ready to swing away. Oh, oh, was it you geniuses that wanted to put Diablo on the uh, on mobile phones? Who was in charge of that decision? Point Bobby to the brainchild that came up with that genius idea. So Bobby can beat him to death with a guitar hero guitar. Who who in this company who in this company is fucking us into the dirt? Where are those fucking guys from Blizzard? Where where are they right now? Well, apparently, they're in a soup line. Uh, this is from the rap. Activision Blizzard cuts nearly eight hundred jobs. Despite best financial year. Despite best financial... God, can I just say, I love you, Bobby? He fired 800 of them, even though it was the most profitable year they've had. Activision Blizzard, the company behind several of the world's top video games, including World of Warcraft and Call of Duty, is laying off nearly 800 employees. Chief Executive Bobby Kotick announced the layoffs on the company's earning call on Tuesday saying Activision Blizzard would cut approximately 8% of its jobs, or about 775 positions, out of its 9,600 employees. The cuts will chiefly impact workers outside its game development division. At the same time, Kotick said the company would be a dri er, driving a significant increase in investment, focus, and capabilities around our biggest franchises. And he specifically calls this out, including Diablo. Here's what I imagine happened. You know, I'd say a month ago, whenever this event took place, when they made the Diablo announcement, Bobby was probably passed out asleep in a pile of money because he's extraordinarily rich, naked with uh, hot Asian women just draped around his bedroom, just in different states of uh, disarray. Uh, lots, of, lots of champagne bottles all over the place. That's what Bobby does every night. He comes home from a hard day of making Call of Duty, and he, he slays some pussy while drinking straight from $5,000 bottles of champagne. So there he is, passed out, having a really good dream. A really good dream. And uh, he gets a phone call. And somebody at the office, the guy at the office says, Hey, Bobby, uh, people are angry at us. Apparently one of the retards at Blizzard decided to go make a public announcement that the next Diablo game is going to be mobile only. Now that was what signed the death warrant. Bobby needed to collect himself, get himself ready for the energy he was going to need to physically beat 800 people. Most companies, when they fire you, will have security escort you out of the building, not Bobby Kotick. He wants to save a few dollars. See, he's got the company at the core of his being. That's the first, the first responsibility when it comes to Bobby. So he's not going to use security guards. That costs money. Bobby just took his fucking guitar. Bobby Kotick took his fucking guitar down to headquarters and he beat these hippies' asses right out of the building. He grabbed every one of these yahoos that have been making shitty decisions. All the ones that got bribed with the 10 cent money. All the ones that wanted the inclusivity and diversity. He hunted down the assholes that were doing the Blizzard uh, Overwatch shit about toxicity. Just running rampant right through everything. Beating them out of the building. That's our boy Bobby Kotick. That's it. He's our guy. You're goddamn right he's our guy. You know, when he first had his... What was the name? Is it Tim Schafer? Am I thinking of the right guy? The one that did uh, Psychonauts? You remember the uh, the fight that they had? A bit public. Everybody sided with Tim. Everybody thought Bobby Kotick is the devil. He is Satan incarnate. He is the most evil son of a bitch that's ever existed on planet Earth. And poor Schaefer is... Uh, he's getting treated unfairly. How could Bobby say that Tim is a colossal fuck-up that should never be trusted with money and is about as intelligent as a trained gorilla? Everybody hated him. But sure enough, give it a few years, and who was proven right? That's right. Bobby fucking Kotick was proven right. He was absolutely 100% on the money when it came to 
Mr. Psychonauts not being able to deliver his fucking games on time. And what, what games has he delivered? Well, there was the one he split up into two parts and charged you full price for both. There were other canceled projects along the way. Psychonauts 2 is finally coming through with some bizarre Ukrainian-Nigerian funding scam. I'm not sure how it works exactly. Apparently, if you send Tim a, a check for $8,000, he'll send you a post-it note with a smiley face drawn on it. <laughs> Money well spent. Bobby, though, Bobby knew what was going on. Get the fuck out of my company. Get the fuck out of my life. That's how our boy rolls. He's gonna give you that. He's gonna give you that shit you want. You want Guitar Hero? You're gonna get it every fucking year for a decade. Oh, you faggots like Call of Duty. Here's here's 20 Call of Duty games and 800 pieces of DLC because Bobby fucking loves you and he knows what you want. Oh, you don't want mobile Diablo. You want an actual PC Diablo release? Let me fire some motherfuckers, and we'll get right on that. So yes, he is our guy. That's him right there. Ready to snap, <laughs> ready to smack some motherfuckers' heads, clean off their shoulders. Not taking, not taking shit from anybody. I don't know, maybe I'm biased on this, Chad. You tell me. Am I biased on this? Is Bobby our boy? Let me put a, let me put a poll up. Ask some people what they think. Almost spelled it booby. If his name was Booby, it'd be even better. And where's the second answer? There we go. Fantastic. There's your poll. You tell me. Find out if I'm alone on this. Oh. So are we expecting are we expecting Smash Character DLC to be announced? I'm sure they're gonna show a little bit of Joker off. I couldn't imagine they wouldn't do that. Now Will they show other characters? And if they do, who is that other character going to be? Personally, personally, if they're going to put somebody in. Where's, where's my boy Phoenix? What, what's going on with that? Let's get even a little more hipster-like on this. Let's throw out a name of a game most people probably don't even know. Hotel Dusk. Whoever the fuck the detective in that was. He needs to get in. I don't even know what his moves would be. Smoking cigarettes and getting drunk? It's kind of what he did in the game. But he should definitely be in. Or maybe we'll just get, uh, as somebody said on Twitter earlier, 800 characters that uh, are from Fire Emblem that all wield swords. I mean, that could that could be it. That could be a possibility as well. Sub Zero, please no. Let's keep Mortal Kombat in Mortal Kombat's universe. Let's not stick them into everything. It's already a bit retarded to have Ryu and Ken in there, and especially Ken. I, I don't know if I want Sub Zero and Scorpion as well. I saw that, uh, what was the Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, saw how that turned out. Turns out that uh, most, most NetherRealm games aren't really that great <laughs> when uh, they have to be super, super uh, safe and conservative on the violence when mixing the characters together. I know Injustice is a bit of an odd case, but God, that game was fucking awful. The, uh, D was it DC Universe versus Mortal Kombat? I don't even remember. All I know is it looked just horrific. The CG in that was dog shit. The story was retarded. <laughs> I, I'm glad I didn't pay money for it. No, let me... I, I'm going to say Bobby is our boy. Let's see what that, that poll's looking like right now. No, there's some people that are confused. They don't know which way to vote on this. Maybe they don't know who Bobby is. It's understandable. You are a Nintendo fan. It's not like, you, not like a, lot of, a lot of Bobby's products on your platform at the moment. Well, speaking of that, I should get rid of his picture. And get there you go. Now you should feel more comfortable. I'm guessing that's the state of your Wii U. That's the state of most people's Wii U's. Just sitting there like a dust magnet. Screen doesn't even fucking work. Analog sticks are fucked as shit. <laughs> doesn't charge properly. What a disappointment that console was. I, I, I seem to remember when they were offering, you know, showing it off, debuting it. A lot of speculation you could use two game pads on the same console. Boy, did that not pan out. Nope. Here's your shitty little Wiimote. Go away, get in the corner while I look at my my awful, awful display screen. And it's nice, buttery v Vaseline 576p resolution pumping out at 20 frames per second with the three games that have been put on here. The three games which weren't really that great. Now, has Nintendo ported every single game from the Wii U to the Switch now? I think it's reached that point. What is there, Mario Maker? Is that about it? 
Mario Maker and Pikmin. Those are about the only two that are left. They put every other fucking game onto the Switch. Not like it's a long list. It's like 12 games, but they, they moved all of them over. You've got Bayonetta 2, uh, Captain Toad, whatever the fuck it is, Mario games, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, just everything just getting sidestepped, ported right on over. Suppose it makes sense from a business standpoint. Nobody bought the fucking games because nobody wanted a Wii U. What did it sell? Like 13 million? 15 million? I, I don't even know what the lifetime sales of the Wii U were. But even Nintendo fans were pissed off about the Wii U. Let that thing just sit and die. Switch, on the other hand, seems to be a bit of an up-and-comer. I was looking at their metrics, their numbers. Already surpassed uh, quite a few consoles. I mean, they're never going to beat the Wii. I mean, that thing sold, what, 112 million? Some crazy fucking number like that? I, if I had to place it, if I had to take a completely uneducated guess, because why not? You're going to hear it from game journalists, too, and they're dumb as bricks. So I can throw my guess out there and just be as equal to their opinion and how valid it's going to turn out. I'd say they're going to somewhere between the NES and the Super Nintendo. I believe the Super Nintendo was their second best-selling console. NES after that, it's one of the two. I, you switch up the positions. I, uh, they'll outsell the GameCube. They'll outsell the N64. They'll most definitely outsell the Wii U. Now, will it break 60 million? Will it go past whatever it is, the SNES or whoever the fuck's in second place? Maybe. But it's a, it's a, a fairly solid system, I guess. People talking about redesigns. Don't know if that's going to happen either. Seems a bit early to do that. But didn't Nintendo end up uh, firing their CEO? I remember the timing of this was very, very odd. Nintendo, all the news breaks that you can... <clears throat> Sorry, still a little sick. All the news breaks that you can hack your console, that you can make it do whatever you want. You just need a fucking, was it a toothpick? A paperclip? <laughs> Great Japanese design. Just stick stick something in it. Who fucking cares? It'll suddenly make it do whatever you want it to do. But news about that broke. And then immediately following that, within a week, we're going to get a new president or CEO or whoever the fuck it was. I'm fairly certain those two events are related. Call it call it a gut hunch. But I, I think they might be related. Now, whether they'll do a redesign, I, I have no idea. What kind of redesign are you going to do on it? You're going to make it smaller? Get rid of the bevel, maybe? Attach the Joy-Con so they're not detachable? I mean, Nintendo has this thing where they like to release a console. They've done this now for three generations. And they make a lot of money, not just on the console or on the software, on the peripherals. They'll, they'll sell you 18 different configurations of your own controller. You know... Uh, buy 14 Wiimotes with their fucking nunchucks. Buy, buy this stupid piece of plastic that costs way too much money so you can play that one game one time and let it sit on your shelf and never be used again. So it'd be weird to attach the controllers and have them be built into a, a redesign because they're cutting their own revenue off. So I, I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe, maybe upgrade it a little bit, but then you've got two kind of like a divided user base. I'd be pissed off if I put money down for the console and then they redesign it two fucking years later. And I'm stuck with the slow gimpy one while everybody else is using the the blazing hot super fast one that's pumping out at a whopping 326p and a stable, buttery smooth 14 frames per second. But maybe that's the only way I'm ever going to be able to play Apex Legends on the Switcheroo 2. Who knows? I think our poll's almost done. Let me let me go check this out. Somebody's saying, I, <laughs> I, I want a new 3DS. No, I don't think you're going to get a new 3DS. Uh, it seems Bobby is, he is in fact our boy. Fantastic. It's good to know. Good to know Bobby is our boy. Let me just, I'm going to pull that down. So we got like a half an hour here before the show starts. Oh, I don't know. What do you guys want to watch some? E3 coverage of Nintendo? Do you, do you want to see? What was Nintendo's worst year at E3? The one where they had that fucking horrific uh, band game. I think it was for the Wii. Where they're all out on stage and none of it synced up properly. And uh, the fucking IR controls are just going to shit. Is Wii Music, was it? Is that what I'm thinking of? Not 100% sure. You want to see the Wii U reveal? I'm pretty sure Nintendo pulled that down just out of shame. I don't think we can find that if we went looking for it. Oh, somebody did say, yes, it is Wii Music. Of course. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, these are... Uh, uh, 2008? That might be what it is. Let me just check. Okay, watch some of this shit while we kill time, waiting for the direct to start up. Fun times. Get everything set up on screen so we can see chat. Uh, there we go. Oh, boy. Two thousand... That's a long... Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, I remember when this... Stupid fucking console was new. Feeling older every day. Nothing, nothing marks time more than previous E3 sh showings. We should go watch that enemy crab one from fucking Sony. That's a gem too. Uh, people demanding in chat they want Photon on the Switch. <sighs> Dare we dream? Should it be possible that we might be able to get that? I don't know. <laughs> Why is this? Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, take that down. I believe this is the right one. There we go. Nintendo's embarrassing E3 2008 press conference. I believe this is highlights, unless they only did a 4 minute and 30 second long one. Which they probably should have, considering how fucking awful it was. She sounds uh she sounds a little handicapped. <clears throat> let's listen to how she says all right. Just let's let, let, let uh, replay that a little. All right. All right. Well, if JF if you find yourself single again, I think I might have found a lady for you. <laughs> I think I might have found the perfect woman for you. Yeah. That's not bad. Thousand points. And you're all right. And I'm all and right. You're all right. I'm all right. I didn't hurt my wrist. Who spend way too much time in airports. And much of that time is already spent on my DS. Currently, I'm playing Animal Crossing. What this small accessory does is make the Wii Remote more precise, more responsive, more intense. Oh, oh. go, girl, go! Yes! Very nice. <laughs> Could you imagine buying a fucking gaming console and you tune into E3? And this is the shit that you're, 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 that's waiting for you. You're hoping for just amazing new titles. You want those, those prime, those prime franchises to really show up. The Marios and the Zeldas. And just shit like that. And instead you get some soccer mom with a bit of a speech impediment. Up on stage playing frisbee with a fucking dog. And trying to snowboard with Sean White. And doing miserably at it because you've got to pay that extra $80 for the fucking balance board. To be able to do the snowboarding segments. That's what I meant by they always sell you the gimmick shit. Here's, here's an extra controller for another 90 fucking dollars. <laughs> We're going to show you how this worthy successor to the Wii Remote comes to life using a more than worthy successor to Wii Sports. Wow. Oh. You really like that throttle, don't you, Reggie? Well, uh, it's good that they gave you a nunchuck with the Wiimote. You know, it has that nice long cord in between the two. Because when you realize your console has no games that aren't pure shovelware shit, you can at least hang yourself properly with it. Just by <laughs> wrapping it around your throat and giving up on life. Don't you, Reggie? Yeah, I like that. Let me introduce you to Wii Sports Resort. So, Cammy, what have you got? Okay, Reggie, I have got probably the cutest game that you have ever seen. Meet my little puppy here, Peach, and we are going to play Disc Dog together. 
Oh, go, go, oh, 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 no, oh, okay. See, it's so precise that, that it's really picking up my bad wrist action. I like the puppy. Come on. Crowd, the, I, I think puppy, the crowd is right? going to like being puppy. on a, uh, on a, on a, you know, gammy. I am so ready. So now let's see who the true master is. <laughs> Welcome to the next generation of gaming. Oh, I don't know how they got people excited for the fucking Wii. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it was a neat concept. Motion controls was kind of a cool idea. But then everybody got home with their copy of Red Steel and realized, one, the games look like shit. Two, uh, they're fucking awful to play. And three, the motion controls don't really control very well when you use motion to do it. That's why they had to sell Motion Plus or whatever the fuck it was with uh, bundle it in with Red Steel 2. <laughs> Just flailing your arms around. I think people that are into VR right now are experiencing the same problem. Gamers, gamers are kind of fat and uh, lazy. And fat, lazy people, the last thing they want to do is stand up in a living room and flail around for more than 10 minutes. So it was kind of asking a lot of people to get off their asses and play games like this. Call me the Reginator. You want a little more? Bring it on, baby. I know this is veering off topic a little bit. Somebody in chat said VR just sucks. I don't disagree. I've noticed a lot. Uh, like, VR is stuck at this weird place where if they give you full control, they let you rotate the cameras. They let you use the analog sticks to move around. Half the people complain that they want to throw up. They're all getting motion sickness from it and shit. So the, it's either you get physically sick playing the fucking game because they let you actually control it. Or you've got that weird teleport gimmick shit that's like in every VR game where you point your controller at some, some space ahead of you and hit a button and you magically teleport. So you're like... You're, you're skipping around. You're like a frog jumping. It's like a modern-day VR, high-definition frogger popping around the screen. That would annoy the fuck out of me. I don't know. VR hasn't appealed to me yet. I'll wait till they really get super fancy with that shit. Maybe, maybe in the next two iterations of it. The next one and the one after that. We'll finally start to see VR that's not awful. That doesn't make everybody want to puke and isn't some teleporting game around uh, shooting galleries. But we've designed Wii Music to allow everyone, including people who can't read music and people who can't play real instruments, to experience the joy of performing music. All that you have to do is hold the Wii remote and move your hands and your body like you would when playing a real instrument. And the Wii detects that and plays a note for you that matches the song. And of course, behind me here, we have a professional drummer who's been performing for us this morning. His name is Ravi Drums. Your drummer's name is Drums? <laughs> it's a bit on the nose. I never really, I never picked up on that one before. I also like how Shiggy just looks disgusted. <laughs> like he's, I do like that the, like, <laughs> the fucking me on screen is very representative of him, though. It's a bald soy boy, and it's a bald soy boy. That's some, that's some high tech right there. Maybe they used the Game Boy uh, fucking camera, snapped a pic behind stage, and uh, tell, <laughs> fucking made him in the game. What we've tried to do today, as Mr. Iwata said, is to look forward to a place where gamers are more engaged why they call me the Reginator. More enriched and even more enthused in their experiences. Oh, go, go, oh, oh, oh no, oh, okay. Oh, oof. Oh, Nintendo, that was just, that was one of the worst years for them. I mean, that really was just a horrific fucking E3. Everybody has them. Everybody has just the worst E3 you could imagine, but 
I think maybe 2008 might have been Nintendo, or Nintendo's perhaps worst fucking year. Actually, let me take a moment to get onto Nintendo's page. The Direct will go up eventually here. So we can just pop right over to it when it goes live with no delay. Okay. So that's set up. That's ready to go. Starts in 25 minutes. So we got 25 minutes to kill. Watch some more horrific fucking E3 videos. I think I had a Super Berry fall from the sky. I'll read that really quick. And then we'll uh, watch some more terrible memories from video games. Oh boy. Who doesn't love that? Uh, I think this is the one I want. Ah, oh, it's such a pain in the ass to get to. Ah, oh, there we are. From Yaksak Pill Pocket. Have you heard about Owen Benjamin? Okay. Um, I'm fairly certain, all right. <laughs> I don't know the dude's background. I'm fairly certain, wasn't he on Red Elephants yesterday? Or last night? He's been doing videos talking about uh, uh, the Jews, talking about things like that. But there's a moment last night where he's on stream and he's talking, you know, he's, he's giving his spiel. If I'm thinking of the right guy. <laughs> from out of nowhere, the dude says, yeah, my grandma, she's fully Jewish. She's Ashkenazi. Um, so I know about the Jews, man. I get it. <laughs> I'm just thinking, how could, you, how could you spend the last three or four weeks talking about Jews and then be like, by the way, I'm Jewish. <laughs> That's That tickles me. I find that funny. If I'm thinking of the right guy, maybe I'm thinking of a different guy. <laughs> I might be thinking of somebody else. I don't know. But it's out there. If you go look, I, I, I could swear it was Red Elephants. <laughs> so there you go. From a uh, back screen, is there any MMO or is there any MMO game that you like, Jim, from both past and present titles? I don't know. I never really got super into MMOs or ass faggots. I mean, those are two genres that weren't really big for me. Uh, so it's not like I have any particular choice that I could throw out there for you. From Sirius Slav, plastic chair autism. Uh, we'll watch that another time. Uh, this is a gaming stream. Talking about Nvidia. Build the wall. What's up, Jim? I'm uh, just waiting for the Nintendo Direct to start. XX Lunasile XX. Jim, would you rather drink 20 bottles of Soylent and play Labo live on stream or run your tongue across Ralph's gunt? Difficult decision. I don't, I don't know the physical effect of drinking 20 bottles of Soylent. I think it might make you grow a vagina. I think if you go over the recommended dose of like one or two bottles of Soylent, you're going to start, you're going to, start to sprout tits. And eventually a vagina will form itself in between your legs. Don't quote me on that. From Justice Moderator, the Switch would print money if Nintendo released N64, GameCube, and Wii titles on the store, either for individual prices or a subscription service. Their online service is shit. I don't understand why Nintendo can't get its crap together and release an online service that isn't an abomination. All this friend code crap, uh, connectivity issues... And now they release this, this, here's our online service and, you know, the hook for you to get the online service, it's only 20 bucks a year, the hook for you to come and get it is we're going to get rid of the virtual console, get rid of all the titles that you actually want to purchase on our store that you've done for the past two fucking consoles, and we're going to give one or two of them to you every month until the fucking Switch explodes. You're right, if they did put up a section where it was N64, GameCube, and Wii, and just let you pay, I don't know, whatever they're going to ask you to pay to have access to it or let you buy them individually, people would love it. But I have no idea why they won't do it. They just don't seem to grasp how to set up an online service. It's not a fucking joke. Uh, from Sweet Squad, ID number 1488. Finger fun, our booty holes, Big Daddy Jim. We need more Mandar. Mandar is coming. From Gun Down, or Guns Down in Hail. Hope they add a Dragon Quest character. I don't I, You know, it's going to be out of left field. That's what they've been telling everybody. Expect the unexpected. I don't think anybody really thought Joker was going to show up. But sure enough, there he did. Uh, das Pooch. After watching the last few Zoom streams, you might have a new internet insanity subject in JF. Woolads. Well, like I've already commented before, I'm never going to make a video on JF. Uh, the skeptics... Uh, have basically sunk any any possibility of that ever fucking happening by incessantly 
pestering me about it for nearly a year and a half now to make a fucking video on JF. The only time I was mildly interested were when him and uh, Destiny were going at each other and they were threatening to take each other to court. I really wanted that to happen. Internet lawsuits are the stupidest shit that have, uh, it's ever existed. And I, I, I love them. So if that had happened, I would have probably covered that. But it never went anywhere. I don't know what happened with that. Where the fellas at? Hi, Jim. Here's something for your 40K stream. Italy made a 50-foot motorized Trump statue as the God Emperor. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm aware. I've seen that. Justice Moderator again. Did he ever play Conker's Bad Fur Day and later on Conker Live and Reloaded? Thank you for the hours of entertainment. Uh, yes, I have played both. Uh, I played Conker's Bad Fur Day when it came out and then, <clears throat> and then Live and Reloaded, I think, on the Xbox, the original Xbox. It, it's been forever, though. Don't quote me on that. ZT, if fire journalists need to learn to code, when do you fire gaming employees? Or what do, what, what do gaming employees need to do when they're fired? Obviously, they need to go to journalism school. Come on, keep up. J.M. Dewey. Jim, did you hear about the uh, new free Resident Evil 2 content coming on Friday? Yeah, I have. Uh, let's see. Let's you play through three additional scenarios, and it's free. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, yeah, I, well, here's the thing. I, I read it on the PlayStation blog where it said it would be free for PS4 owners. Now, are they going to let it be free for everybody? Are the people who got it on PC, are they going to get it for free? The people who got it on Xbox, are they going to get it for free? Because if it's some weird exclusive deal where only Sony uh, gives it out for free, that's going to suck. But I, I think it's cool. Uh, what is it? The gun store owner, uh, some secret agent, and some chick. So you got three people to do like a survival scenario, probably 15 to 20 minutes of gameplay each. It's not bad. It's an extra hour or two do variations on that, uh, maybe three or four hours of content out of it. So it's a nice little tacked on uh, DLC package for, for no money out of your pocket. Who doesn't love that? Okay, a few more here and we'll we'll watch a little more E3. Oh, where did I leave off? Okay, Sheepdog Speak 1776. I was going to use this on condoms, but this is much more entertaining. Thanks for keeping me fuck flu free, boss. Well... The fuck flu is out there. Best of luck to you. Reno Mills. This is not 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. What the fuck? Flatiate yourself. Or flate yourself. Oh, see? I'm doing that hyperbole thing again. Can't get those words right. Jimmy's brain doesn't work too good no more. And then finally from back screen. Hey, Jim. What does your gut tell you about Sargon? Where do you think he will be in a year or two? If I had to pin it down, uh, I think Sargon is going to go through what... I, I'm blanking on his actual name now. The Amazing Atheist went through. Or like-minded, similar channels. You get like a million or so subs, but the views start to decrease. You know, you, you have your moment and it passes. I mean, Sargon's been kind of on top with his YouTube stuff for, I don't know what, you'd say two, three years? And I think it'll just start to fade out like it does for other people. You know, that that's where I think he'll be in two to three years. Still on YouTube. Uh, still with... Uh, it's not Patreon. What the fuck service is he using? Subscribestar? Still with a Subscribestar. Uh, maybe he'll move over to Masterson's new Patreon alternative. Uh, not sure exactly what Masterson's calling it, but he's got one out there. Okay, enough of the enough of the super berries. Had to make had to make those shekels. I need to I need the money to afford all, or afford all those 40k books that I've been buying. Far too many. Far too many if I purchased. Just just shameful. Okay. What what E3 presentation? What was the Konami one? Let me see if I can. I'm sure I don't even need to. <laughs> it already knows. Wow. YouTube's really getting those uh, algorithms up and kicking. It automatically knew. As soon as I typed K in to the search bar, it automatically pulled it up. Brilliant. Oh, Chromecat's got one on it. Uh, well, I, I guess that'll work. He should have it strung together well. Oh, of course, there's a commercial. All right. Let the commercial pass, and we'll play that. And then, well, uh, well yeah, that'll that'll bring us right up to the direct. So there we go. Oh my god, I fucking hate ads. I don't know why I'm watching this on Chrome. I should be watching it on Firefox, but whatever. Okay. All right, here we go. It's set up. Nintendo Direct's ready to go when we switch over. All right, let's watch a little Konami E3 shenanigans. And then we'll, uh, we'll move over to the direct. Entire performance or the presentation, I just ask for you to exit at the back of the room.
<laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, that's pretty prophetic. I'm going to give this guy props for calling that. Uh, maybe all the people in this room didn't realize that this would be one of the goofiest fucking E3s that ever got put together. And sure enough, here we are, nine years later, watching it and laughing. Welcome to the 2010 Konami E3 press conference. <laughs> so, so fucking professionally done. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, to take your time. Take your time. It's not like we paid money for this. God, did Tonka put this presentation together? It's a lot of silence hanging in the air. Can we roll the trailer, please? Can somebody help me? Oh, God. I, 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 I almost wonder if they did it intentionally. One of the things I think uh, the benefit of hip hop is that we have President Obama. A million views on one of your video performances on DefJamRapStar.com makes you a rapper, and there's no joke in that. Someone will become famous with this game. I'm a lead producer in the 99 Nights too. <laughs> we are very excited about our upcoming release on June 29th, which is three weeks ago away. El elegido. La Parca. Silver King. Holy shit, this is like the fucking morning kumite. It's nothing but dead air. <laughs> Portuguese people. It's it's Donga and Failure up on stage there, doing their thing. In the trailer, you saw the concept word Zandatsu. And the battle with the armies of the more than one million troops. One million troops. Wow. <laughs> one million troops. God, they are so unpsyched for that. One million troops. Nobody's clapping. Nobody gives a shit except the fat guy. The fat guy right here is the only one clapping. And I think it's a pity clap. Everybody else is falling asleep after the Mexican wrestlers. I love you guys. <laughs> and also you'll see the, that the difficulty levels will be changed on a two players mode and making even harder. The entire HD screen is filled with over 10 million dots per screen. That's why it looks so amazing. We might add more stages, but again, that all depends on you guys. So please help promote this game. <laughs> Save the universe with nine lovely characters in Automedius Excellent. You are guaranteed to have fun as you shoot the core. And now, a sneak peek at the girls of Automedius Excellent. It 
It doesn't matter if you like Anoa and the Vic Viper. No Gradius fans? Vic Viper? Hey, 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 gentlemen, hey, hey, gentlemen. Save it for the ring. Save it for the ring. This is tomorrow. Hey, 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 hey. Save it, save it, save it. Save it for the ring, save it for the ring. It's tomorrow, 1.45 p.m. <laughs> All right, so I'll take it, I'll take it in the back. <laughs> this is not the original. Did <laughs> you hear him? Give it to me. Don't make me say this louder so the mic picks it up. Give it to me right now. Hack and slash anymore. This is an extreme. Extreme. Hack and slash title. Not funny. <laughs> Today we prepared an exciting announcement for you all. Oh, come on now. Just don't tease him. Let's get on with the announcement. Oh. Konami is talking dancing to a full new rebel. So it I don't know what the dude is saying. <laughs> His English is so bad. Can somebody translate what the fuck that was? <laughs> so give it a give it a try, chat. That's meant for you all. Oh come on now, Just don't tease him. Let's get on with the announcement. Oh, Konami is talking dancing to a full new rebel. So it Konami talking to Fu Nu Webo. Like, I, I really don't know what he's... I know Konami was in there, and something about a level. But I'm just a little lost. You're telling me that it's going to be Dance Dance Evolution? Mm -hmm. Dance Dance Evolution? No, no, no. We would be using a mat and more. We will dance with absolutely no controllers. No longer tied down. Now you can move your body freely. Let us show you. <laughs> Tommy and I'm still a beginner in dancing, but because we played this game, we can kind of dance now. No, I don't think so. It's nothing we can show everybody. I know, I know. If you just uh, you know, continue to press the, the same button like X, 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 and Y, 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 and X, X, and Y, Y, Y again, you'll be sucked. That's a hell of a game feature. I, you know, I don't know if stringing combos together and getting sucked is, uh, is a bad thing. I'm not sure why 999 Knights didn't uh, take off. That sequel should have fucking exploded. Get a little bit of a knobber while you're playing. Right. Tomorrow's the championship. We're, we're going. Let's leave. Now. <laughs> this is the moment. I love it. This guy probably did rehearsals with them. And, you know, they were playful and they're goofing around. And he was like, oh, are they, these luchadors are great. But there's, you can see it on his face, where he's like, <laughs> he gets nervous. He's like, they're, they're taking it too far. Stop it. Stop touching me. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, are you okay? I'm good, Shinto. Uh, I am Shinto Nojiri from Konami Japan, and... First, we'll save any explanations for later, right, Shinto? Yes. Uh, yes, please see our trailer, please. You won't be finishing any the single, single stage, any, even you won't finishing the single level. So, just be smart to finish it. Okay, um... Come on, what's this? <laughs> oh, dude. What's that? So these green silhouettes is where I pose, right, Nelky? Yeah. And these streaming arrows, I glide my hands along it, right? Yeah, it's the actual Oh, better hat. So I see these ripples on screen. So that's where I put my hands and feet, right? Yeah, yeah. By now, all of you are aware of the dramatic change that is taking place in the entertainment industry. Okay, we're getting really close. We're getting really close to the direct starting here. I just want to make sure we don't miss the Silent Hill thing, because it's probably the best thing out of the entire Konami presentation. We'll watch this. 
and we'll hop over to the direct because it is about ready to go. Soar with multiple trick combos and more than 60 boards. Silent Hill has helped shape what horror games are meant to be, so we're borrowing influences from what the uh, successfully executed in the past, the disturbing creatures, the mind-boggling and mind-bending psychology. I always love this dude's look. He looks like he wants to fucking kill him. It never made any sense. He's just inches from the back of his head, dead staring him. He's trying to look into his soul. He's looking into the soul of the man that murdered Silent Hill and thinking about the horrible things he wants to do to him. Technology that transports players to an alternative nightmare world. Experience that is Silent Hill. So now we're proud to present a glimpse of what's to come for the next Silent Hill coming to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 in 2011. So stay tuned as we reveal more of the completely new chapter. <laughs> he keeps looking over at him. Yeah, stay tuned for the new game. By the way, I'm going to murder this motherfucker. Have you seen what he did to your beloved Silent Hill? He needs to die. In the Silent Hill story that has been haunting our world and will be sure to haunt yours as well. Hey, Tommy, uh, please introduce yourself. Um... Hey, Tommy. Okay. All right, we're gonna, we're about ready to start the direct here, folks. <laughs> we're about ready to find out all the amazing Bing Bing wahooing that's gonna go. Oh boy, their chat's going fucking crazy. I'm gonna have to hide that, otherwise it's gonna completely shit the stream up. Yeah, we're 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 going live in three minutes. Three minutes. Oh boy, oh boy, here it comes. I'm seeing some F's in chat. If you get, I'm not sure what's going on. Refresh if you're having issues. Okay. Got green across the board. We're good to go. I'm going to get a drink. Get yourself a drink. We're going to go live in two minutes with the upcoming Bing Bing Wahoo stream. I hope you're all fucking excited. Make sure that's actually live because that would, <laughs> that would kind of suck if it wasn't. Uh, there we go. Get a decent, decent resolution. Okay, there we are. I'll be back in one moment. Oh, yeah, Chad, I see. I had to get a drink. I understand. Dead air. Giving you flashbacks to the Kumite, is it? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I think everything is lined up and ready to go. Should be starting here in a moment. Let me get the screen up. And we'll find out. Oh, exciting. It's exciting time. Are we going to finally get Are we gonna finally get some more Labo? What are what Labos we're going to get? Who knows? Who knows? It's a, it's a mystery to everyone. There we are. All right, we're just waiting for them to go. Tune in for roughly, roughly 35 minutes of information on upcoming Nintendo Switch titles, including new details on Fire Emblem, The Three Houses. Uh, now, I actually have a 3DS. I've been playing the Fire Emblem games, not something I was ever really into. Um, pretty fun games. Pretty fun games. So, I guess if you're a Switch owner, that's something to look forward to. You're kind of fucked with Metroid Prime 4. By the time that gets released, eh... It's going to be forever. 314,000 people watching. Just blowing numbers out of the fucking water with that shit. But uh, here we are. Well, here we are and here we wait for the amazing Nintendo Direct. Hope you all have your Labo Tree Forts constructed. Hope you've got your Yahoo chocolate drinks in hand. Hope Mommy and Daddy aren't going to disturb you for the next solid 40 minutes so we can see the next hotness coming from Japan. I don't think it'll top Konami, but uh, fingers crossed, maybe. And if we're really lucky, we might get a DLC character for Smash. And that DLC character will be another sword-wielding person from Fire Emblem. Okay, well, my clock's reading four. So maybe my internet functions on a different time than other people's does. Uh, let's... Do I refresh it? It's live. 
I'm not seeing anything. Chat, what's going on? I'm fucking confused. Why aren't they starting? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna refresh it. I don't want to risk it. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, here we go. Shit, we're we're. <laughs> Well, if you guessed Mario Maker or a Mario Maker sequel for the Switch, congratulations. There you go. Here it is. No, 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 no. What the fuck? No, 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 Nintendo. Don't do that. Tactical difficulties chat. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Oh, why is this happening? I might have to take chat down off the screen if that's the case. Oh, Jesus, no. All right, uh, give me a second. Let me, let me fix this so we don't miss the fucking direct. I'm taking chat off the screen so that's not fucking things up. And uh, we'll we'll redo this. One moment, guys. One moment. Oh, disaster. Disastrous. What the fuck? Okay. Try a different browser. Just one second. Don't lose hope. Okay, I, I, I'm literally not getting anything. Somebody want to check the Nintendo page to see if it's just my ass or if it's completely gone to shit for everybody? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Miser just miserable chat. What the fuck is going on? Okay, now people in chat are bitching saying it's dying for them. Okay, all right, all right. What the fuck is happening? Now, <laughs> what are you doing? I, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Everybody, I've taught Jim's fucking it up. Bing, bing, woohoo, went right down the toilet. All right, let me try Twitch. Maybe the Twitch broadcast will actually fucking work. Work it around the problem, boys. Case, literally. Okay, yep. In addition to All right, we're back, we're back. Skills, each hero has an Alliance Extreme Attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends locally or online, Take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine hero skills into synergy attacks. Your most powerful attack is Dream Attack. The team of possibilities will be off the charts when Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch this summer. Welcome back, Box Boy. Get ready to unload some boxes and have fun doing it. The critically acclaimed puzzle series Box Boy is coming to Nintendo Switch for the first time. This brand new game is tightly packed with tons of content, including brand new puzzles and new features. We fit something else in too. Yeah, that's about the graphic capabilities I'm expecting from Nintendo. This time, two players can box it up together. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. Use your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. The ultimate spring update. Oh, here we go. We got some Smash. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. What are we adding, you ask? You'll just have to wait to find out. Remember, Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. 
he's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget, new Super Smash Bros. series Amiibo figures are on the way too. There's even more to explore in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's never too late for a journey through the maze-like miniature worlds of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. In fact, we have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later today. And some paid downloadable content is coming. We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses, from sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets, and achieving new objectives in existing courses. Are you guys happy? You got an indie box game and DLC for fucking Toad Treasure Tracker. Oh, and there's an update coming to Smash, but they're not going to give you any details. <laughs> it's a Nintendo Direct I expected. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. If you don't have the game yet, look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. It contains the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode once it's available. Steal yourself for old school action in an all new gothic castle. The side scrolling action of yore shall rise once more in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And so, the young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse, must use her unwanted gifts to slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeebel. With these powers, she can steal the abilities of enemies, bend gravity to her will, and dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side-scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. I don't know. I'm gonna say that's that's a plus. I'm gonna say that that's one thing they've got going for them. So I've seen four things. That's that's not dog shit. I'm, I'm cool with this. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows this summer. The time has come to build a new world and take on the children of Hargon. On an empty island, you'll ally yourself with the mysterious Malrock and defend your world from monstrous forces. Enlist villagers to help rebuild and fight alongside you in the story mode. Or unite with three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. You'll gather materials, craft objects and tools, and reach new heights by building... Now, this is another port, isn't it? This was already released on the PS4, wasn't it? I know they ported it over the first one, so they're porting over the second one, or is this a new one for the Switch? I don't know. It looks like a good game, though. So there you go, Switch. You got you, you Nintendo fans. You got you got two games, and uh, nothing else so far. Outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. When Dragon Quest Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th, there are more Nintendo Switch headlines to come. But first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Well, how's it looking? Next. We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look. There are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest, the series that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force, pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series history. Everybody point at the motherfucker in chat that just said Mother 4 before they revealed that it was Dragon Quest. <laughs> what are you smoking, bro? <laughs> you thought Mother was coming. You thought you were going to get a sequel to that. Oh, you poor naive motherfucker. The royal birthright is snatched from him. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed 
Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. Together they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling detailed land Erdrea. Ah, oh, it's nothing but ports so far. Is there been has there been one new announcement? Everything is a port of something else. Am I wrong on that? You got Mario Maker, which I I mean it cut out. Maybe that was a new sequel, but Oh, it's a, it's a bit painful to watch this. Prove their abilities. You can also collect materials so you can forge weapons, armor, and accessories. Looking for an item? Then help people out in side quests. Or try your hand at the casino. Or horse racing. Erdrea is full of surprises like these. And this time, the player has the power to choose on the fly between the lands. Where the fuck is F Zero? Right? Like, where the. Or, you know, I, I gave the guy shit for the mother thing, but. This is kind of what you have to look forward to for like the next four or five months. And uh, it's not looking too good. I, I'm going to have to be honest with you. It's a little disappointing so far. I was expecting something. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll get F-Zero. Maybe that'll be the big, the big knockout out of the park. Or Animal Crossing footage. That'd be nice too. First-time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Okay, you know, I don't want to talk over the trailers too much, but this is, an, uh, this is a port. And they've spent like three minutes on it. Three minutes of their 35-minute presentation on this. Ah, oh, fucking Christ. Echoes of an elusive age, definitive edition. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch this fall. While we just announced the addition of these new stories... There will be more new information to share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never seen before. <laughs> what the fuck is this? These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm. Hey everybody, I know you came to watch video games. Hey, I know you're really excited for those hot new video games. Uh, here's some shit nobody wants. Fuck you. Fuck you. We're Nintendo. We don't care. Fuck you. Enjoy the next five months of a drought. Of nothing. Uh, but ports that you could play on other systems. And some fucking uh, choo-choo rocket ripoff. You remember the Dreamcast? Well, here you go. We're, you know, 15 years late, but fuck you. We don't care. We're Nintendo. Oh, you can switch your flip upside down. And then throw it out a window because you have nothing to play on it. Oh. I'm getting mad. <laughs> it doesn't really affect me. Oh, you poor Nintendo motherfuckers. I feel bad for you. This this is Nintendo spitting in your mouth. We're picking up a distress call in the Atlas Star System. But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Now Peppy, Falco, and Slippy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are. In a challenging new series of missions you can only find See, I heard this is actually a fairly fun game. But don't you need like toys and shit? Isn't it like a gimmick game where you have to buy a bunch of shit and then attach it to your controller as some kind of abomination to make it work? And also Fox's missions from the base game. It's time for Well, so what are we what are we at now? Seven ports and DLC. Seven ports and DLC that require you to buy toys. <laughs> it's like Nintendo doesn't want you to ever get laid. They want you to go to the toy store so women know that they should never touch your penis. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Interact with townsfolk daily. Grow vegetables and fruits at the farm. Cook some fish. Cook up a storm. 
or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special, fully remastered for Nintendo Switch. Battle alongside townsfolk and before long, you may become more than just friends. What? See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you, exclusively in this new version of the game. I've never played this series, so I couldn't tell you if it's good or not. Chad, you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to throw your opinion out on your own on whether Rune Factory 4 Special is a win or not. And... We can finally confirm that Rune Factory 5 is in development. Look forward to more info in the future. Soon, a time will come to slay monsters and rescue lost souls. Before those souls become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere, step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the well, It's good the game is based on reincarnation, because if you own a Switch, you're going to want to kill yourself. Because they have no games for it. Just a lot of indie shit that looks like it belongs on Steam Greenlight. Becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep, single-player campaign, there will be many battles. You will fight, and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost, and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. Cars, robots, and Yoshis in a world of crap. You know what that means? Yoshi's crappy world is almost. <laughs> it sounds like when he says crap that he's saying crappy. You're in for a world of crap in Yoshi's crappy world. As Yoshi, you'll go rafting. Race solar cars. And tear through the sky on a plane. Nice shot, Yoshi! Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. Even at this scale, you'll have some challenging bosses to wrangle. Using in-game coins you've racked up, you can collect crafted costumes. If you wear one, it'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. There are more than 180 of these costumes, and some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. Later today, we'll release a demo, which lets you play through the first course. The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch on March 29th. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. How's it going so far? Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Please, have a look. All right, let's 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 check this bad boy out. Oh, my. What could have brought you here? Was this made in Flash animation? Am I watching Newgrounds? Or is this a fucking Switch game? The continent of Fogland said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. 
After an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, you'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. So the main character has Lolly on his brain. Good to know. Garrig Mock Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan, as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the Alliance. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet. <laughs> it's, it's, is this Harry Potter? <laughs> and is it just me or does the animation look stilted? I don't want to talk too much. I want you guys to be able to hear this, but the animation, I don't know, something's off about it. It just seems really slow. Expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves, and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. At the Officers' Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons, master the study of magic, and acquire special skills such as horsemanship. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Three territories, three houses, your very own journey. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release on July 26th. Oh, there you go. There's your summer release. I don't know. I, the graphics aren't wowing me, I, even for what it is. Oh, it's, how it's, it, look? it looks terrible, asshole. That looks like Flash animation from like 2002. And I, I don't know, the Harry Potter thing. You know, one one point Hugglepuff. Whatever the fuck's going on in that school setting. I don't know. It's like the framework is there for a good game, but it just... I, I, don't, I don't know if they could pull that together in three months, four months until release. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. In this next entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. 99 players, but only one reigns supreme. This is Tetris 99. Seriously, Nintendo, get the fuck out of here with this shit. What are you, what are you doing? Why, why is it ports and, ah? Oh. Hey, I know what the kids want. They want another version of Tetris. The 80th to go in their fucking collection. Hey, remember Tetris from 30 fucking years ago? 
Well, here's another version of it. Fuck you, we're Nintendo. Fuck you, we don't care. Nintendo Switch Online members, be ready to join the fight. Tetris 99 will be available for download later today. Look forward to battling it out in upcoming online events. Prepare to kill, survive, or die in Dead by Daylight. Imagine this. You're alone, struck by fear, struggling to survive. And then... Holy shit, those graphics. Is this... <laughs> this, this, this does not look like what it does on PC. What am I... What am I looking at? It looks like it got stripped down a little bit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Life, or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Whoa. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying? Just you wait. With loads of maps. Character. Are you seeing this frame rate? The frame rate and the graphics on this? <laughs> it looks like it's smeared in Vaseline. <laughs> it's, <laughs> this isn't even 30 frames per second. Nintendo Switch this fall. This dog will ruin your day. Now for a message from the producer of the futuristic mech action game, Damon X Machina. All right, let's see. This yeah. has promise. Let's Hello see where this goes. Everyone. I'm Kinichiro Tsukura, producer of Damon X Machina, and I have some news for you. Later today, they'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina Prototype Mission on Nintendo eShop for a limited time. The game is still in development, but in the demo you can battle through four different missions while exploring the basic controls and customizations of your personal mech known as an arsenal. You can also experience a boss battle in the final mission, so please try it out. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out prototype missions. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. We appreciate your feedback and hope to make this game the best it can be. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Realistic Racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. That's the biggest lie I've ever heard. Grid Autosport comes fully loaded with a mix of high-speed thrills, believable handling, and a difficulty level that scales to your skills. You'll feel like a pro racer as you... All right, since it's just a racing game, Chad, uh, I just do a poll. I'm not even going to put a poll up in chat. Uh, give me a one if you think Nintendo's knocking it out of the park with this uh, direct. Give me a two if you want to throw yourself out a window if you were a Nintendo owner. Due to the just horrific disappointment you're experiencing right now. And understanding you've got one game that looks like it's Flash from Newgrounds that's coming out. <laughs> Another game that might be good, but uh, that's about all. Oh, and 82 ports and Tetris. Enter the Viking Age to experience Senua's journey again, or for the very first time. Created in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple so it's reached the point now where Sony feels so bad for Nintendo they're going to port over games that appeared on their system. It's just, just out of pity. Just out of pity for Nintendo. ...releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. 
the Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Mortal Kombat 11 proves the saga 25 years in the telling is far from over. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op for some puzzling platforming fun when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo Switch, experience Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with revamped gameplay and features tailored... Okay, what the fuck's been remastered? Maybe it's just the stream on Twitch, but... It looks juttery as all fuck. Why can't they ever get the frame rate to work? Look at this! It, oh my god, I think it actually stuttered there. <laughs> oh, this is so bad! Oh, why would you show this footage? Final Fantasy fans, better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26th. We can also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody will release on March 20th. We're pleased to announce that Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Once a classic, always a classic. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headlines. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. What the, the hell, hell are, are they? they? Why, Why did you make them? them? I really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. Okay, that was pretty fucking great. They should have started the show with that. That was pretty goddamn good. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please stay tuned. And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please check it out. Wait, is this the Zelda game from the Game Boy? Yeah! 
So, what did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. Wait, is that... Oh, that really is it. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's... Uh, fuck everybody, then. We're done. We're done. Fuck everybody. We're done. Oh, chat. Let's let's unpack that a little bit. So you got your Mario Maker port, which uh, I know a lot of, I guess, Switch owners wanted, so that's a win for them. Astral Chain looked pretty goddamn good. Uh, it's funny that the machine known for porting is so badly in need of ports it had to go back to 1993 to find a Zelda game they could put on the system. Uh, the Three Houses, I mean, Fire Emblem's a fun series from what I've seen on the handhelds, but that animation was so stilted and juttery and just stuttering. I, I didn't have a good feeling about it. I don't know what that's going to look like in motion. Dead by Daylight looked awful, and it looked like it played awful. Just a lot of ports... And, you know, you got two games hitting in summer, Yoshi and uh, the Three Houses, uh, and, well, th uh, three games, I guess, and Deus Ex Machis, or whatever the fuck it is. I I don't know. Uh, you tell me, Switch owners, was that good for you? Was that satisfying enough, or do you feel like you got fucked in your ass? Because it's just, it's a lot of ports, man. That's a lot of fucking ports. And that's supposed to last you, what, five or six months? I mean, that's... That's kind of what you're looking at, five or six months of uh, that satisfying you? Is that going to be enough? Uh, seeing a lot of no's, a few okay's, a couple yeses. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'll do a poll. We'll, we'll put it to a poll. Now let's let's find that poll. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that as a title. Got to give, got to give a few, a few choices, and then uh, <laughs> there we go. All right, uh, you guys tell me. There's your, there's your poll. We'll see what the final answer is uh, when it pops up. I'll read a few of the super chats here in a minute. I don't know. That was kind of underwhelming. Uh, no F zero, of course. You're never going to get another F zero, are you? That's just not going to happen. All those people. I heard a lot of speculation. Going into this, people saying, oh, uh, the Metroid Trilogy is going to get ported over. We're going to see Earthbound or Mother get ported over. We're going to see all these different things that people really, really want. Pikmin 3 is going to get a port over. None of it. You got none of it. No Luigi Mansion 3 gameplay. Um, just, uh, you got Yoshi's, what did the, I swear to God, the guy sounded like he said crappy world. Sounded, it sounded like he said, welcome to a world of crap, Yoshi's crappy world. Maybe I'm just hearing things uh, wrong, but that's that's how it sounded to me. Oh, Rune Rune Factory, Rune Factory with just a title screen and nothing else. No Persona. We didn't get Persona either. Um, no Bayonetta footage either. Yeah, a lot of things aren't getting shown. Maybe they're saving it for E3 or or that time of year. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But uh, ugh, not not the best. Let's see what the. Uh, Let's see what the poll's saying so far. <laughs> the poll is not looking too good. At the moment, we've got 34 people saying it was awesome, 260 saying meh, and 319 wanting to kill themselves. Not, uh, not, not looking the best at the moment. Oh, and of course the DLC. I forgot you've got some DLC too for Toad's Treasure Tracker. <laughs> I enjoy that, I guess. More Toadish. Uh, levels for you to uh, explore, uh, potentially. 
Oh, God damn, Nintendo. If you're going to do a direct, you better, you know, why didn't they start with that Astral Chain shit? That's what they should have let off with. That, that was pretty good. I was looking at that like, okay, that's not complete shit. I don't know why they saved it for the end. Maybe they knew it was a bad direct and they wanted to end on a high note. From 077989. No Animal Crossing, no Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, yeah, Persona, yeah. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, Nintendo really shit the bed. Not a satisfied Switch owner. ZT, Link's Awakening was my first Zelda. If they fuck this up, I'm going to Adam Worski on Nintendo headquarters. From Conrad, why is Andy such a bitch that he was trying to get Zoom to report JF's pet potato for the graffiti shit instead of doing it himself? Is he bitch made now? <laughs> I don't remember that from the direct. Well, again, from Zero, Conquest or Birthright? Conquest. Uh, Ace of Warren, there's a reason people have started calling Fire Emblem Waifu Emblem. I, I understand it. Slamico, holy shit, a Sum Sum game. Oh my oh god, oh shit, holy fuck, oh fuck, I can't breathe. From Panzerfaust217, can you spare a minute to play this? I don't know, is it is it... A video of a Nintendo owner, a Switch owner, putting a gun in their mouth? Uh, maybe we've got some live reactions from Switch owners who are committing suicide. Right now across the nation, there are many, many basements that have the echoes of Neats <laughs> bouncing around their walls as despair takes them over. Again, a couple from Ace Warren. Uh, Rune Factory is Harvest Moon if it was also a fantasy RPG. Also, Rune Factory 4 is a port and F Zero is likely dead because there aren't men, or any more gimmicks to shoehorn into it. From Ghost of a Smile, Jim, are you a Fed? Be honest. Well, if I was a Fed, I couldn't be honest with you. Back screen, front mission three. Which arc is your favorite, Emma or Alice? Oh, I don't want to see. Here's the problem: we can't start talking about good games on a Nintendo Switch stream. That's just rubbing salt in the wound. All right, they these poor fuckers had to sit through a direct where it was nothing but... They got Tetris. They got Choo Choo Rocket. <laughs> oh, we can't, we can't talk about good games here. It just wouldn't... It'd be, it's too much. From uh, Komadi Man. It's over 6 million. 111. Pastor Bates. Jim, God, I hate ads. Put on E3. SPCC. All right, chat. I got to take a five-minute break. I'm very thirsty. Build the wall. What's up, potato nigger? Gas the rapist Bodie Aarons, rise up. From Sacrilicious. Here, Jim, get yourself more Sudafed. Hope you feel better. I am already feeling better. That shit is amazing, but it makes you very tired. From Entropy93. You excited for Metro? Can't wait for it on Steam. Also, fuck you, faggot. <laughs> well, you enjoy the wait for it on Steam. Merc33. First time on your stream? Loving the shitstorm so far. Honestly, never understood the hype for Nintendo or any console. PC Master Race, Das Reich. Well, you know, gaming on a PC is just a superior way to go. I know that's elitist, but it's honest. While they're while they're playing Choo Choo Rocket and Dead by Daylight at two frames per second, we've got all the hot shit to enjoy. <laughs> uh, from Nifty Robo, Nintendo are literally boomers of the gaming industry. Uh, from Plebatron. As a potato nigger, what do you think about JF raping potatoes? I have no comment. Yak sack pill pocket. Have you heard about Benjamin? Okay, and we're we're back to the we're back. I've read my super berries. We've watched the Nintendo Direct in all its glory. Let me just uh, last check last check on the votes. It's it's pretty neck and neck for underwhelmed and wanting to commit suicide, but wanting to kill themselves is currently in the lead. You have my sympathy, Nintendo uh, fans. You have my sympathy, Switch owners. That was a bit brutal. The next five months aren't looking bright. And even the ones they were talking about releasing, the games that are coming out, didn't look like they were coming out for months. I mean, you've got Yoshi, I think, next month, and then you've got Fire Emblem and uh, the mech game in three or four months. So I hope you like ports, because that's all you've got to look forward to until E3 makes them show you something that's not complete dog shit. Just, whew, not, uh, not doing that great. Not doing that good. Maybe you should have got an Xbox. Maybe you should have got a PlayStation. Or maybe you should join the, the Master Race and play on the PC. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you. 
But uh, a brutal direct. Not, uh, not a good showing, if I had to put it bluntly. Well, that'll do it for our Bing Bing Wahoo stream. I just wanted to cover the direct. On the off chance, something exciting happened. Or they, you know, a bunch of Japanese businessmen showed up on screen and committed seppuku. Oh, oh no, we have no games. It's time to Sudoku ourselves. Right in front of the audience, grab that katana. We can't take it anymore. Have you seen Yoshi's crappy world? It's too shameful. I can't live with myself anymore. All right. Uh, feel free to join me tomorrow. Be doing a morning stream. Taking a look at Nigerian scammers in the power book, among other things. Uh, try not to. <laughs> try not to throw yourself off a rooftop if you're a Nintendo fan. Maybe next year will be better. Uh, that's probably a mantra you're used to saying and repeating over and over. Next year will be better. Next year will be better. Next year will be better. It never is. But try to hold on to it. To at least <laughs> give life a chance. Let's, uh, what should we end this on? What song should we end this on? I should have had a, a <laughs> I'll just add it on Sad Tendo. All right. You all have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow morning. You tell me how you even begin to explain.